Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be learning about maternal serum alpha fetoprotein, or MSAFP. Now, I know that may sound like alphabet soup, but really it's a very valuable prenatal diagnostic test. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. All right, let's get to it. Hello everybody. Today we are learning about maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. So let's get started. We'll begin with the goals of the lesson. First, we're going to learn about what is MSAFP. Next, we'll learn how to interpret MSAFP values. And lastly, we'll learn about what to do if the MSAFP is elevated. So starting off, what is MSAFP? So it is a protein that's produced by the developing fetus, but we measure it in the maternal serum or maternal blood, hence maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Its function is still pretty much unknown. We don't really know what it does. However, its measurement has important implications, which we'll see in a moment. So here, this graph is highlighting the fact that the levels of MSAFP fluctuate throughout the course of pregnancy. So we see here that it rises and dips. So I mentioned that its measurement has important implications. So how do we interpret the lab results? First of all, it's measured in MOM, which stands for multiples of the median. And the reason we measure it that way is because like we saw in the last slide, the levels fluctuate throughout the course of pregnancy. And so we take multiples of the median as sort of a standardization of the measurement. If the MSIFP is low, then that can indicate Down syndrome. However, if it's high, then that can indicate a potential neural tube defect, abbreviated NTD, or it can signal the presence of multiple babies, such as in the case of twins. And the hypothesis for why this is the case is that in a neural tube defect, there can be a deformity in the vertebrae, the spinal cord, cranium, or sometimes the brain. And because of that defect, this protein, MSAFP, can leak out of the CSF which stands for cerebrospinal fluid. And then in the case of twins, because we have twice as many babies, uh, the levels logically would be elevated. So what are the abnormal levels that we're talking about? So for a neural tube defect, abnormal is defined as greater than or equal to 2.5 multiples of the median. So here on the right, this graph is demonstrating this. Here is one multiple of the median, and if the measurement of MSAFP is low, then we see it can indicate Down syndrome. However, if it's high, above 2.5, that can indicate a neural tube defect. So say we measure MSAFP and it's low, what are the next steps that are taken? Well, the first step is going to be a referral for ultrasound. However, ultrasound might not always be possible. So some alternatives are to measure the AFAFP, which stands for amniotic fluid alpha fetoprotein. So it's the same protein, but we're measuring it in the amniotic fluid instead of the maternal blood. Another uh, protein that we can measure is acetylcholinesterase. And we might even proceed to this step if the original ultrasound is normal or uncertain. So let's look at a sample case. Uh, we measure MSAFP at 16 weeks of gestation and it's 4.2 multiples of the median. So what is the correct next step to take? Go ahead, pause the video and see if you can answer this. Well, it's 4.2, which is elevated above the 2.5 threshold. So our next step is going to be to refer for ultrasound. All right, 
And that's all everyone, let's summarize what we learned today. We learned that MSAFP is a protein made by the fetus, but measured in the mother's blood, and it's often used in prenatal screening. It is measured in multiples of the median, and a low value can indicate Down syndrome, where a high value can indicate neural tube defect or twins. And lastly, in the case of an elevated MSAFP, the next step is going to be a referral for ultrasound. Okay, hope you all enjoyed this video. Here are my references for this lesson if you'd like to learn more. Take care, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.